It's always rewarding seeing which pieces of your marketing strategy are working. But all of these patterns are put together by the last referrer type interaction your customer had before coming to your website. Often the decision to making a purchase started days, weeks or even months before the purchase went ahead. So when and where did your visitor first engage with your brand before converting to a customer? That's where the multi-attribution feature comes in. Now consider this example. A customer recently purchased a product on your website. Now let's say your customer came through DuckDuckGo search using the search term Dive Zone to land on your website and they then eventually went on to make a purchase. Now this doesn't tell us much when looking for key insights as the customer already knew the brand name, Dive Zone. In fact, the data shows customers often come to your online store through a search engine before they make a purchase. But what we really want to know is what made them aware of our brand initially? Well, let's set the first attribution model field to first interaction. And then set the second attribution model field to last interaction. This shows us which channels your customers first engage with your product and then the last channel they used before clicking through to your website to make that purchase. More often than not, you will see higher conversions assigned to the last interaction for direct traffic referrers. And the reason for that is because customers engage with your product first through a different channel before later deciding to go direct to your website to purchase that product that has been playing on their mind for the last 10 days since reading about it. Let the multi-attribution feature present a new dimension when interpreting your data. For example, you or your team may have put a lot of effort into a brand awareness campaign and you're worried it may not have any direct financial benefits. Look at the bigger picture. Your customers will be exposed to your product or brand many times before making the decision to purchase. Just look at how many of your customers came back for a second, third, fourth, fifth visit and so on. Also, if you are investing time into creating really engaging social media pages and wondering why conversions are so low, use multi-attribution to see if your first interaction click-throughs from your social media pages are going on to convert into purchases. You may be pleasantly surprised, as you will be pleasantly surprised by other key metrics you'll find in here.